you ever had one of them games where you can't get shit to go your way? <laughs> well, this is one of them games. <laughs> what it is, y'all? Slim Reaper two five six manstudents dot com. You know what it is. Bringing you my week four MSFL game against Papa Shaga. He's the Jets. He's dotting the shit out of my defense. Oh my god. <laughs> Inside past the history. Before I get any deeper into the commentary, I just want to apologize to Kilo <laughs> for making his oop to oop offense look so bad. I was late as shit on the lot in the throw. Like, ah, I, just, I don't know what I was doing. Nah. Jet heavy. Of course. Um, Right here is like a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Do that shit way too late. And then what I should have did was, had I seen him coming over, I should have waited a little bit longer because he wasn't really listening right like then. Right there, um, I should have waited a little bit longer for Vernon to get behind the coverage. I possibly could have had a touchdown or just a big play, and that was a good play by him. It was kind of like a manufactured screen. Right here, I test Revis like a dummy. I, I thought that he was playing playing his own deeper, but he wasn't. And of course, I get a drop pass right here. And that was pretty much the pretty much the gist of the game. Me throwing to his his. Defenders instead of my teammates. Um, luckily, I stopped <laughs> before he scores like 60 points. But I don't know. It was I made it real tough for myself. Cause I kept giving him a short field like this. Once again with the jet heavy. I don't know. I I get a little bit of pressure on him, but this game also illustrated. How bad spreading the line is trying to, to try to get pressure, especially against a mobile quarterback. I wouldn't recommend that anymore. Yeah, I hit him with the with the fade. Oh my gosh! But thank that that was that was lucky though, because he came close to picking that. Like I was throwing in traffic a lot this game. Like I said, I don't I don't know what I was doing. I don't know why I was <laughs> so bad on my reads. Um, it seemed like mostly he was running like a two man under cover one stuff like that. Throw a little cover four here and there. And this was like the story of the game. Me trying to get pressure on him and him and losing it with Tebow. Like it ah. That was it, it was tough. Um But like I said, this kinda illustrates how bad it is to spread your line. And after this game I found out that a lot of the blisters that I run the way I spread my line, I don't have to spread the line. I can still get the same pressure of doing that. Wish I would have known then ah and who runs a fucking fake? I should have known it was though because he called it time. He paused the game in front of him and I told him he would go for it. Willis, what the fuck, man? Right there, we just. They turn off my tackling. <laughs> and the dotting continues. Uh, I'm trying to. I'm trying to hold him to three here so I don't go down 17. But. This is Madden 13 and defense isn't really that easy to run so he gets the touchdown. Right here, he drops in the fag D, two man rush, but you know, I take off a of Kaepernick because he didn't like I, he didn't have a spy, he just dropped it. looked like he didn't have a spy, he dropped it in purple. I gotta try with the screen. I should have cut it outside right there. Like I said, I was so off on this. Here we go with the read option. Tried to shake him, but I couldn't. I think that was Landry. I was real fortunate he didn't hit stick him and cause a fumble, but it doesn't matter because I throw a pick right after it. Uh, this is one of them games, man. Um, right here, he looks like he's in split offset. He hits me with the draw because I was spreading the line again like a dummy, thinking that I could get some pressure. Right here, like that was me blowing the coverage because I should have had I should have had a flat zone over there. And again, we spreading the line. Like I said, <laughs> please, if y'all if y'all have blisters to spread the line, just don't spread the line. Or you're begging for it, bro. Or them to run straight up the middle with a quarterback. Like this. <laughs> oh man. Something else I noticed too versus mobile quarterbacks. Did you see did you see my rusher? Did you see how he stopped? I really hate that. I, I saw him get picked up, but they also kinda they also kinda stopped him. Right there he dashed me again. So now I'm getting blown out. It's uh 31 7. I need a quick score here. Tried to catch it, but of course, they won't. if you're moving the analog stick, a lot of times they won't let you catch it on that. Right there, he sends a little pressure on me. 
I was looking for something deep. Right here, my right my right tackle gets block shed. I'm lucky that they didn't get picked too. And I'm even more lucky that they gave me a pass interference. But it wasn't really nothing I could do with that too. Yeah, get smacked again because my right tackle just can't seem to pass block. And we go to half. Um, coming on the third, I'm just trying to establish something because even as bad as this game has been going, I'm only down 24. So I figured if I could stop throwing the ball to his people, <laughs> I'd have a slim chance of trying to come back and win this game. Right here, I shake the shit out of him with Manahan. That is what happens when you throw that route on time. And now we almost, well, we're starting to come back. And, you know, we take a little chunk out the lead. Right here, I get the pick. Um, And I almost pitch it because of that bullshit that they put. Well, I don't understand what, I don't understand why they would put that in the game. Like, clicking the left hand loss to, to fucking pitch the ball. And right here, I almost throw a pick. I had circle wide open, but tunnel vision screwed me. Um, so I take the three. Now we're only down 14, and that's what I was talking about. I said, like I said, if I could just stop throwing the ball to his receiver, I mean to his defenders, should have had a pick right there. But he put the curl. I, <laughs> he put the curl right there to kind of get, kind of get in my way. Right there, we get a little pressure on him, but I could never consistently get pressure on him. Right here, my D lineman gets manhandled, and of course he runs. He, he runs it with Tebow because I was stupid and dropped in the fag D. Right here, he's he, he's starting to establish his run game, like and again spreading the line. Ugh. I will never spread the line again. I don't think <laughs> if it's a running back in the backfield, because ah, you know how they say in every defeat there's a lesson. I guess that was my lesson. Yeah, don't spread the fucking line. And Osmond finally gets in there. I finally get a block shed on the draw. Oh my god. Like I've never seen the 49ers get pushed around like this off the off the line. So we get the stop there, and now I figure if I can just kind of score quick, I got a chance to take this to overtime. And hit Hunter on the screen right there, right here. I hit Davis on the inside pass on the inside pass the fade. Um, hit the curl right here just because I saw the one on one. And he didn't drop anybody under it, so I knew it was pretty much money in case we dropped unless we dropped it. Right here was a really dangerous throw. I got shit and test Revis like that. Shouldn't test any cornerback like that, but especially Revis. Hit Moss on the slant over the middle. And like we starting to get a little rhythm. Um and right here I hit Gore for the touchdown. <clears throat> and that's what it came down to. Like when I wasn't throwing the ball to the defense, I was able to move the ball pretty good. Even with the hiking hall right there. Um, and right here was pretty much the backbreaker. Like, I I wish that we had press <laughs> on, and well, consistent press on PlayStation. Like, you have to be in the cover too to press somebody. Like, you can't press somebody two man on. If you do, the left guy, the guys on the left of the screen, everybody knows the guys on the left of the screen get raped. And that's what he did. He just hit the slant, and that was pretty much it. Right here, I try. I figured I'll try to um, hold him to three. Like, I, I, I try never to stop fighting, you know what I mean? Because you never know what can happen. But, so I just, I just still tried to D up. A lot of people would have just gave it up right there and, like, bump it. But I figured, like, I could, I could try to pull a miracle off. I get lucky right here because he passes it and gets knocked out of bounds and so stops the clock. So, I hold him to three. I'm down ten, like, with, like, next to no time. <laughs> So I, what my my idea here is just to get in field goal range, try to kick a quick field goal, and try to get the onside back, and hope for a miracle. But unfortunately, we missed the field goal, and that was pretty much it. Um, good game, Papa Shaga. You gotta get a re one day, uh, <laughs> and hopefully I can. Hopefully I don't throw 500 interceptions. Um, thanks for watching again, Kilo. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'll do better next time. Um, Thanks, thanks, thank y'all guys again for watching. I promise better gameplay next time. Uh, this is Slim Reaper 256. Sign off.